just never thought to quit. I always picked myself up, dust myself off, and, and continued to fight, continued to fight, knowing that one day, one day I would be victorious. Louis Sharp, glib, personable, a player rep reporters flocked to after every game for an interview. He was one of the game's top left tackles during his 13-year playing career with the Cardinals, a three-time Pro Bowler and number one draft pick. But he made even bigger headlines because of his drug addiction. He was in and out of prison for a period spanning two decades. Sharp told me it was 1994 when his life and world began to crumble. I hurt my right knee playing the Philadelphia Eagles. First time ever carted off the field. And, uh, and, and soon after that, I, uh, I, the, ending, the ending of my 13, 14 year marriage, um, and also some of the, uh, the, the negative uh, comments by uh, then head coach Buddy Ryan, saying that we didn't lose anybody that really mattered. Uh, that hurt. And, and so, you know, I, I, I made the decision, my own personal choice to go out and, uh, and mask all that, all the pain with, uh, with substances. Can you talk about or pinpoint for us how it became like an, an addiction uh, for you? Well, crack cocaine, that pipe, that crack pipe, that's a bad, that's, you know, and, and see, I, I have to say that. I have to say that because part of the program that I'm working, the first step says that I am powerless over all sub substances, mood, mind altering substances. And that as a result of my powerlessness, I am, my life is unmanageable. Crack cocaine, I mean, did you ever think that would land you behind prison? No, I, I didn't think that it, that it would. Certainly, certainly, you know, and, and, but see, that's one of the things that we as, as professional athletes need to get in touch with. You know, we're not above the law. We're not ind indestructible, you know what I'm saying? And, and that, you know, we have to be mindful of choices and consequences that we make. Fame, money, family, Sharp lost it all. His life spiraled downward and out of control. He was shot twice, convicted of nine felonies, spent nearly 10 years in prison where he was severely beaten about the head and face, needed reconstructive surgery, and nearly died. Prison is not, is not a very good place to be. And, uh, and basically it was a race riot. Two, two of the heads uh, had, uh, had an issue, a gambling issue. And uh, so, you know, the, the African American, we were very small in number African Americans and the, the Caucasians came, came at us, you know what I'm saying? And I, I'm gonna fight, you know, I'm not gonna go down without a fight. So I started, you know, taking out folks and obviously outnumbered. And, uh, and so that's basically what, what I remember. Those that were really close to you, and I'm gonna, uh, I know you had a, a couple teammates who personally took you to a Betty Ford clinic in California. They thought they had dropped you off there to get you all cleaned and sobered up. Literally, they know that you had checked yourself out after a couple of days and, and took a cab there right back here to Arizona. Is it tough to, I guess, reacquaint yourself or find that trust back with your former football family? You know, obviously it, it is tough, but I, I'm not the first that, that have had, has had these kind of struggles in, as far as reconnecting with friends and family and in the business community. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm totally okay with that. It's gonna take some time, because I've hurt a lot of people, and I, I, re I realize that. Sharp has been sober since his latest release in 2013, and he's on a mission to share his story with other recovering addicts. I'm just grateful today that I still have my right mind, that I can share my experience, my strength, my hope with others who are struggling, you know, and be a beacon of light, be a beacon of hope uh, to so many that desperately need this message of hope that we carry. Sharp is a changed man, but admits it's still a daily challenge. It's a one day at a time process, <laughs> you know, and that's why, you know, I, I have to do what I'm doing, man. I have to give of my time, of my, of my talent, of, of my treasure. You know what I'm saying? I have to get, and that's the only way that I can get out of myself. See, the problem is not the crack cocaine, it's not the addiction. The problem is me, me, the person, my self-centeredness, my self-absorption. And the only way that I can get out of self is do exactly what it is that we're doing here today. Me being candid, me being forthcoming, me sharing this message of hope, being concerned about other people. And I'm finding that I'm, when, when I'm concerned about others is when my God best takes care of me, getting myself out of the way. Sharp calls Detroit home now. He's in town here visiting family and has shared his story while here. And he proudly told me 
five different people came up to him and said his story has encouraged them to clean up their addiction. Good luck to them, and I'm proud of you, Luis.